all right so in this video we are going to see about the capacitors in SMDs um, in this board there are many SMD capacitors are there so this is a basic how to um, how to check the capacitor whether it's working now working fine or not and then if it is shorted uh, what you what you should do and uh, what are the basic points of uh, capacitors so in this video we can see it I am Ravid Rajagopal this is Mr. Biomedical So let's understand about uh, the SMD devices. So what is mean? Uh, what, what do you mean by SMD? This is uh, surface mounted de uh, de uh, devices. Okay, so uh, this is surface mounted, and SMD is uh, is switch mode power supply. You know the difference, right? So I, I did a lot of video about it. So so in this board, you can see some yellow color components here 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 uh, here these are all the capacitors which is used in uh, filtering the things and uh, so now uh, we're gonna see how it works and how to um, how to uh, check it with the multimeter so what is the basic point is uh, you should choose your choose your um, um, one pin one pin i mean ground pin you should uh, you should choose wisely because you know sometimes board uh, sometimes uh, some boards having only one pin one only one ground and uh, some boards having two different uh, ground pins so you should do uh, what you should do is uh, just different uh, uh, for different um, connections so you have to uh, connect it clearly and you know uh, taking the measurements uh, I think this one is a wait I think this one is a single ground so I don't want to worry about it <coughs> continuity mode I'm checking how to check here you can see 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 5 runs, rounds here, okay. So you should check with this, like this. So it is coming. So in this board there is only one ground uh, which we can uh, connect the probe here and identify the mistakes in any of the circuit. Okay, so this is how it will, it will work. Now, now the placing, the placing of the probes. You have red and uh, black probes, right? So red is for positive and black is for negative. Uh, what you should do is. Uh, put your positive lead into the ground okay positive lead into the ground and uh, check the capacitors now I'm getting 0 0.539 it's a resistance I mean uh, diodes value and it's good and here it's a ground as you can see here is a ground and the opposite side can see the measurement okay so this is how we have to uh, check the SMT capacitor using multimeter uh, okay <coughs> for example if uh, okay if the uh, board is having a lot of um, uh, capacitors like uh, this board contains of 20 to uh, 60 capacitors okay so what if the short in uh, some uh, some uh, some areas like this so what you will do uh, that's a real question because you know uh, if the bo if the board is shorted 
that board is dead okay so remember remember always so if the board is not working uh, uh, giving any feedback then you should do is what you should do is uh, just check the capacitors first so that is the main point of the uh, smd repair so whenever you are going to smd repair you should check capacitors first um, that is a real lesson from me uh, uh, from me so uh, i am always doing the capacitor checking first then i will go with uh, resistors and then i'll go with uh, first i will check fuses fuses is uh, you know necessary as one uh, but secondly i will go with uh, capacitors and thirdly i'll go with resistors and and fourth transistors and diodes and uh, you know uh, another parts like uh, ic's and you know um, uh, these are, these and all so so capacitor like this uh, like, um, like this way you have to check and uh, you can also check like this you can wait i will i'll tell you i'll tell you okay so uh, you can also check the capacitors like this but the only problem is it will take uh, around you know 2 to 3 hours to check uh, uh, this capacitors so uh, you can uh you can go one by one like this it uh, it may you know uh, it may reduce your it may increase your uh, work time so what i'm always doing is just put the uh, positive lead into the uh, grounding points and then what i will do is this one see 539 which is good see 685 which is good this is the ground 748 which is good fine nine two which is good so like this way i am uh, working so so what more mm, yeah like this way and even uh, so this is the position of uh, of the multimeter on smd boards and this is a procedure of uh, of the checking of uh, uh, capacitor using multimeter in smd board okay hope you are understanding the video so if you have any questions comment below and uh, do you have any suggestions please tell me uh, if you are like or dislike uh, you can dislike so that i can improve myself um that's it that's it uh, today and uh, I'll, i'll see you later with another video like uh, there's a plenty of con um, uh, components so uh, so we have a lot of time to uh, learn one by one by one uh, and uh, yeah absolutely i yeah, will i'll be teaching you uh, the concepts of smd and smps very soon and um, like uh, and oh, one more thing is uh, we can you know uh, if if you are learning uh, if you are learning what is smps or what is smd today you can't do any service after that because you know uh, you can't do uh, after uh, uh, after the training because it will come with experience you should get a plenty of boards then only you can see uh, the concepts of electronics and the concepts of medical electronics and the design uh, coming to the design uh, the design uh, a normal electronics and medical electronics is is, uh, is is different like anything so the the components um, will be in demand actually um, so Uh, if you need any component support you can uh, you can ask me and i, I can help you because uh, we are importing uh, importing the components from china uh, so i can help you out and hope you enjoy this video uh, like and subscribe for more videos thank you so much bye bye